Have you ever pulled up to a supercharger during a holiday lately and all you see is lines and lines of Tesla vehicle waiting to charge? This is at least a hour to two hour wait. This is the worst I've seen it in the years of owning a Tesla. It's getting out of control. And guess what? Tesla just announced that they will be sharing supercharging with other manufacturer. Hey everyone, how's it going? Some breaking news here. Tesla, Elon Musk just confirmed their plan to open superchargers to other automakers later this year. This is actually bad news for Tesla owner and possibly Tesla shareholder. A lot of the details have not been shared, but Tesla spent a lot of money building this infrastructure over the last decade and no other car manufacturer, even Electrify America, which is supposed to be developed by Volkswagen due to their um, them lying about the diesel vehicle back in the days um, uh, on their mission especially with those older Audis and also the, the Golf. But Tesla has invested a lot in getting the supercharger network to where it's at today. And that's one of the perks of buying a Tesla is you have access to supercharger as well as third party charger, giving you the flexibility of being able to charge and really go on road trips. You can't do that with any other manufacturer. Um, so this has been pressure by the government, especially in Europe. And now it looks like it's coming to the US. Um, we're not sure how Tesla will manage charging third party access to their supercharger network. Because right now, Tesla vehicle, once you plug in, it has a chip where it can detect based on your VIN who owns that vehicle and they can charge you based on your login app and your credit card and file. So there are some incentive from the government um, as well, but this is the latest information um, we're, we're seeing here from Elect trick.co uh, just released about 28 minutes ago so we wanted to share this with you right away and Tesla has over 25,000 supercharger all over the world um, and it's quite quite concerning because right now even without access from other manufacturer it's already packed I don't know if if this is a good thing for Tesla owner, I'm actually quite concerned um, if it's even worth it uh, to go through all this for Tesla. They should have just straight up deny access to any third party. They're not obligated to do this, but you know, Elon is all about, you know, supporting the movement, which I totally respect. But other manufacturer needs to hold their own. Um, at the end of the day, if Tesla deny, they're going to have to force and cause other manufacturers to start developing um, charging station or at least force the government to put in some money instead of just throwing money at, uh, at the unemployment right now. Um, and people are just not going back to work because of that. So... Something to keep in mind, uh, neither here or there, but this is uh, hot off the press. I don't know what your thoughts are on this. Um, comment down below if you think Tesla opening up their supercharger to other manufacturer is a good thing. Um, I, I have mixed feeling, uh, in par partially because I'm biased and being a Tesla owner myself and already have issues waiting in line especially during holidays 
to just get a charge and now you're gonna have other manufacturer waiting in line with you it's just gonna be very chaotic unless Tesla is able to double or triple the current uh, supercharging network in the next six months then they should be able to they should be able to handle the influx of other manufacturer uh, I'm all open to renewable energy but to put everything on Tesla I think it's quite unfair uh, it's sort of like asking Apple to make their phone charger universal we have been asking that and they never budge on it they've never made it universal their charge charger or really solely proprietary to Apple products and that's what makes them successful in, in that sense um, and when you start getting other people not knowing or understanding how supercharging uh, work or even just the courtesy of lining up into your turn I can see a lot of um, a lot of problems gonna uh, spoil over there's gonna be some conflict especially with those non Tesla owner and frustration of Tesla owner having to share supercharging network is uh, is quite concerning at least we'll see what happens so anyways thanks for watching remember to subscribe catch you on next time and if you're on the market for a Tesla use the link in the referral uh, of the description and you can get 1000 free supercharging credit